What's up guys, welcome to my, let's see, 11th tutorial in C++. And this time, it's going to be a real quick tutorial. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make arrays a lot easier and a lot faster. Now, hopefully you watched my last tutorial and you're just watching this one right after it. And as you can see, the first thing we did was create an array right here. And then we assigned a value to each of the elements individually 0, 1, 2 but there's a lot easier way to do this so let's get rid of all of this actually and let's do it all at the same time the first thing we have to do is create our array just as before so let's put in ages and then of course there are going to be three elements in it as usual but this time instead of just ending it we're gonna write we're gonna create it and initialize it all at the same time and we're gonna assign all our values so instead of typing ages 0 equals all we have to do is in curly brackets or write three numbers 21 19 and 9 just like we did before and end it with a semicolon and this is the exact same thing as putting ages 0 equal 21 ages 1 equals 19 ages 2 equals 9 right here C++ knows automatically to assign the values ages 0 since this is the first one and remember C++ counts 0 1 2 instead of 1 2 3 that ages 0 is going to be the first one ages 1 is going to be the second one and unlike before you don't have to list them individually ages 0 equals 19 ages 1 equals 22 or whatever so now of course just to prove you guys that this works and I'm not actually aligned to you, let's output the ages 1 which is actually the second one 19 plus ages 0 which is 21 so let me just save this execute compile and run and as you can see we have 40 again just like we wanted so this is a lot faster and easier way of being able to assign your values to your array and it's a lot quicker and it's a lot easier like I said so study this and it will give you another option the only down point is sometimes when you have real long ones it's hard to keep track of so I hope you guys learn a little more about arrays study this and uh, you can become familiar with this and then once you do I hope you move on and watch my next tutorial and remember to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching